And I'm going to leave you with this metaphor. This metaphor kind of brings it all together for me when I start thinking about my life and appreciating the things that have happened, good or bad. I created a car called life as a metaphor. And you can add to this. And if you have some good add additions, literally tell me after, because I've been building the car with all of you for about five years now. The metaphor of a car is you. And you're on your road, your path, your destiny of life. Now, I want you to think about the parts of the car. You have the gas pedal that you control. That controls the speed and the tempo of your life. You can slow down. You can speed it up. Right? You have the brake. Sometimes you can stop it. You can pump it. Sometimes you can leave the brake alone and just keep on cruising. Then you have the windows of the car, the glass of the car. The biggest piece of glass in a car is what? The windshield, which is in front of you, which represents your what? Future, what's ahead of you. Now, the smallest pieces of glass on the car are what? Rear view mirrors, which represent what? Your past. Do you ever notice what's etched on those mirrors? Yeah, huh. Just curious. But you know what? Some people do drive their car called life staring in the rearview mirror. They don't even look out the front windshield because they don't like what they see coming at them. Some people drive their car called life looking out the side windows. You know what that is? Competitiveness. Who's around me? What kind of car you got? Pretty funny story. This happened to me just uh, last week. I was in Scottsdale. And I drive up, and I'm in the middle. I have a little you know, BMW sports car, nothing fancy. Pull up. And there's an, a, land, a Land Rover, big old Land Rover. I mean, $100,000 cars, you know, maxed out. Then this other guy's got this, uh, it was like an uh, uh, Escalade. So two big SUVs and there's a little sports car. And we're all at the front of the light. I'm just looking ahead. And typically when I drive, I look ahead. I'm usually not the guy that goes, I just don't live my life that way. And it literally, metaphorically, I live my life kind of living, looking to the future. But I just, for some reason, I could feel the energy of, machissimo and stuff like you're in Scottsdale too by the way this happens a lot a lot of SUVs a lot of machissimo so I look right and I look left and it was just like this moment between guys we're like it's weird like you women don't do this but I, I asked my wife today when I was walking through the mall I said do I have like this cool guy thing on me because guys will look, walk by and they're like what's up and then I'll watch some other guys where they, they don't even look up. They're looking down. Maybe it's just because I see people. But that's what we do as guys. We kind of acknowledge each other. I don't know what the hell it means, but we have this subconscious thing that we want to do with each other. Am I right? What's up? What's up? He saw me. He did it to me. He did it. See, when you do it, you've got to do it back. Right? It's like a handshake. You can't put out your hand and not put the other hand back. So you have this moment, and I started thinking about the metaphor in this moment. I thought, you know what? This is pretty funny. I bet the, that's how these guys are. These guys are probably pretty competitive. They're actually looking over me at each other, looking at each other's SUVs, because I got a little BMW. These guys got these maxed out SUVs. And there's just this acknowledgement when we drive our cars called life, and we see things around us. And that's how we gauge where we're at. 